for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Well, welcome to our series of videos on Dreamweaver and HTML5. And you can see here I've gone ahead and opened up Dreamweaver and created a page. I've also installed the HTML5 tool pack extension for Dreamweaver CS5. So you'll need to install the uh, HTML5 pack for Dreamweaver in order to work along with this exercise. And in this video I want to show you just really quickly how to insert a video into an HTML5 document. I'm going to go ahead here and click in my body section and I'm going to type an opening bracket and I'm going to use the tag for video. So there's video and now we need to go ahead and put in a couple of uh, parameters. The first parameter obviously is going to be source because I need to know where um, the video is. And I could use my browse option here and it's going to bring up a select file dialog box and I've actually navigated to the place where my file is. So I'm going to select this sample mp4 file here and then click OK and I'm going to go ahead and say yes and I'm going to save this in my directory and I've already done this so I'm going to say yes to replace it. So now I've said that there's a video, I've said where it is and again since it's the video is in the same directory as this HTML5 file I don't have a path but if you um, if the document was not in the same directory as the video, you would need to put the path in here. And now I'm also going to set the width for this video. And the width I'm going to make 800 pixels. You can also set the height of your videos and do different things. If you just set the width or if you just set the height, it will resize the video proportionally for you. And then finally, I want to go ahead and I want to show the controls on this video. So I'm going to go ahead and select the controls attribute. And that attribute doesn't actually have any kind of um, 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 value to it. So I'm just going to hit a space there. And then I'm going to go ahead and close my video tag. I'm going to go to File and Save. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File preview in browser and you've got to preview this in an HTML5 aware browser so again this tag is not going to work in most versions of Internet Explorer but it will work in the latest versions of Chrome, Firefox or if you have Opera or the latest version of Safari installed. I'm going to go ahead and use Google Chrome here so I'm going to go ahead and click that and you'll see there is my web page and there is my video including the controls right down here. So I can go ahead and click the play button. This, this is, is a sample, sample video. video. Testing, testing one, two, three, three and you'll see the playhead move. Two, three. And the video plays. Now there are lots of, I'm going to go ahead and close this browser, there are lots of other parameters that you can put into um, the video tag. Um, I can go ahead here and click here and for instance I can type uh, A and that's going to bring up the autoplay property and I can double click on that and that will autoplay this video instead of waiting for me to click the play uh, button. So be sure to go ahead and explore these different parameters and remember you do have to have an HTML5 aware browser like the latest version of Chrome, Opera, Firefox or Safari in order to view um, this document. If you were to open it up inside of um, another document, uh, the video will not play. Or inside of another browser that is not HTML5 aware, the video will not play. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.